Warham fam, welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Darren. And, and this is Christmas Hill. Yay! Mostly from Asda. Mostly from Asda. So far. Yep. Right, so these weren't all in the same order. I've been getting things gradually. Yeah. Um, but this is one of the first things I got this year. Oh. Yeah. Move it so it's actually facing <laughs> you. Yeah. On. So we've got a set, of six, set of six baubles. Yep, Harry Potter baubles. So you've got nine and three quarters. You've got Harry HP, HP and a golden snitch. You've got the sorting hat, golden snitch on its own. The Harry's Weasley jumper, which I love. Yeah. And Hegwid, Hegwid. Head head wig. Wig. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and it acceptance letter. Yeah. Right. So this was six pounds. Yeah. Basically, guys, I got a pack last year as well, which um. The house show ones. Last you time, when you get to, yeah. but yeah, they were different, I believe. Mm. Otherwise, I've got two lots, but there you go. No, no, they were, I believe they were, they were mostly house ones. Right. I'm going to go on now to the non-decoration and this I actually got as a cup for either myself or Darren I have got another one for Christmas you have that yes. I've got um, as a Christmas tree one a for Christmas. so I just thought well it'd be quite nice if Darren had his own and it's a bit more neutral so you yeah. know right now then every year um, I tend to make um my own crackers i've been doing it for years for the hamsters because it keeps them amused during the day when right. when or if we're out um but uh i've recent years i've been doing them for like a little table gifts for my parents and darren's yeah. mum and the pair of us basically yeah so this year and i know i can show you guys this without any worry of them seeing it because i don't watch it no <laughs> so i've decided that i'm gonna have to do little gift bags and have a cracker in there of some sort but i've decided to give everybody their own special tree ornaments yeah so this one which i thought was so cool this was for my dad and it's a piece of toast with a christmas shaped egg he does like his cooked breakfasts. Right, so one pound fifty. And it's yeah. a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. As I said, all of these yeah. uh from Asda They're quite light as well. Until so I... they're not gonna yes, pull no, the tree down. Not. Right then. Now for my mother in law, she loves Sudoku. Mm. So we thought this is quite quaint, although it is done more like a crossword, unfortunately. <laughs> However, that being said, it's still really quirky. And again, it is really light. It's a lot bigger again than we thought. And this was also pound fifty. Yeah. So if you know my parents, please don't tell them. <laughs> right. Now, this one I got for my mum. <coughs> now, she's cat bonkers. I would have liked to have got her either a... <coughs> I would have liked to have got her, her either a black cat or a tortoiseshell like her current cat is. But, do you know what? He was so cute. And, you know, I know she'd love him. So a little tuxedo cat there. Yep. Right, and he was three pounds. <gasps> I know. She's twice as dear as my parent, my, my dad and my mother-in-law. Yeah. Right, now this one is actually not going to be going on the table at Christmas because this is the one for the hamsters. And it's a lot, lot bigger than and we thought it was going to be. It's <laughs> massive. This bad boy is a sprout, in case you can't guess. It's a little hangy. The hamsters hangy. love these sprouts. And they do. They get they get a sprout from Nonna every, every month, yeah. which doesn't sound like a lot, but one stage she was getting them weekly and <laughs> they just get bored, so there's yeah. no point. But yeah, huge sprout ornament for them. Because why should they miss out? Um, this one was two pounds, and I don't think that's bad. Would I have preferred it if it'd been a little bit smaller? 
I don't know actually. I quite like the fact. Well, if it's, it's too small, it wouldn't big. show up on the tree, would it? No, I mean it's not. It's not going on our tree. Only Harry Potter items are going on the tree, or things that could be considered yeah. Harry Potter. <coughs> I'm not that stringent, really. Yeah. But um, yeah, so we haven't got any space to put a second tree up. Yeah. <laughs> um. Right. So that's the sprout. That one's the hamster's one. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops. That doesn't want to stand up, so we're just. We're buying it's round the bottom. That's right. Right. So this little chibi <clears throat> Harry Potter, he is my one. Yeah. Now he will actually be going on the tree because or by the tree because it is Harry Potter. Because although my parents and Darren's mum won't be getting this until the start, what I'll do is I'll just won't I either won't worry having gift bags with our little guys in. Um or I don't know yet, guys, to be honest. Right, he was four pounds. Now, I loved him. I thought he was really cute. I really, really liked him. He won't stand up, admittedly. So he's, def he's definitely, he's definitely going to have to either hang or be lent against. Yeah. But either way, he is a really cute little potter for a Harry Potter tree. Right, so... Darren's one. <laughs> ah, how cute is he? <laughs> he's so sparkly. Now then, you could say, I mean, he's, I actually pretty much know where I think he's going to go anyway. Um, but he won't be going on the tree. Although, technically speaking, I might have been able to reason it out because, of course, um, there was a skull well there was a whole skeleton actually but I can't remember what the skeleton was I'm having sort of brain dead where? bits in Defence Against the Dark, Dark Arts Room um, Neville was picked up by pixies in the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone if you're American yeah. um, and he was he was hung onto a chandelier Oh, I thought there was a thing hanging from the ceiling. There might have been, either was, way, was it doesn't matter. He's yeah. he's not Harry Potter, I know, but he is yeah. going to look lovely on via TV with the other skulls. Hmm. So I just I saw him and I thought, Do you know what, that is more Darren than anything else that I've seen. Yeah, I like skulls. He does like skulls. Yes. <laughs> but he is wicked, and yep. we we really love our Jurassic Park films. Hmm. Not particularly dinosaur-y, but I, we just love those. <laughs> right, so these next ones are the Piece de la Resistance. These are ones that we wouldn't have got, but we had problems. We ordered a half tree from Asda. I'm not going to go into full details. Um, we were sent the wrong tree twice. Um... It delayed us being able to do Christmas bits and things like that. Uh, eventually, after speaking to, I spoke to four people in the end from Asda. The third person I spoke to actually phoned me up the next day and told me <coughs> that after her pushing and she didn't say that, but after no. her actually doing what the others said they'd do, um, she actually did it and. They found it, out the wrong, the wrong tray was put the on, the wrong picture. picture was put on. So everything else, they were sending us the right tree, but it wasn't the tree that we'd ordered because me, like 99% of the human race, tend to look at a picture and take it as gospel, that is what you're ordering. Yeah. Um, they gave me vouchers and things like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, it was a headache, but I do love the stuff you can get from George, and I don't see why I should penalise myself over it. Hmm. But either way, we wouldn't have got these Without other, than, yeah. other than the fact they sent us vouchers, hmm. and we ended up getting our half Christmas tree from Argos. Hmm. Right. So, these are the Hallmark proper... 
Harry Those Potter ones. decoration ones. Yep. Now I'm going to get it out so we can have a proper look because I've been desperate. The, there were four that I was truly, utterly and completely in love with. Um, and as I said, thank, thanks to things going horribly wrong, um, it actually enabled us to buy them. So I'm mm. very happy. We've got birdie bots every flavour bean. And every side. And I'll tell you something as well. It feels so nice. It's, you know, it's a really good, strong quality. Mm. Um, but yeah, I I wanted the Bertie Bots Every Flavoured Beans one. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is not particularly Christmas. This is Bertie Bots Every Flavoured Beans that I can have up somewhere else for the rest of the year. Yeah. But it will be going on the tree in the meantime. But yeah. I don't class it as only a Christmas no. ornament. The same can be said for all of these. Right. So this one, let's move these out of the way so they're not. Right. Whoop. So this one is. The Marauders map, and it's I got swear that I'm Harry's wand. I mean, again, it's really, it's really good quality. The prints on it is really good. The paint jobs on it is exceptional, actually. So again, mm. it's one that doesn't have to be just on the tree. No, that's right. Because it's not like they've put snowflakes all over them or anything. So, no, you know. Uh, this this guy obviously isn't the same as the Hallmark ones. No. For one thing, all the Hallmark ones are seven pounds each. Like yeah. I said, you know, seven pound um, each. It's true, they're eight pound each up from Hallmark. Are they really? Yeah. <laughs> Ironic, really. But there you go. <laughs> I'm sure, it was seven. It doesn't say it on the outside of the box. But I'm sure it was. Mm. Now, this was again. If we'd have only been getting two, it would have been Bertie Bots Ever Flavoured Beans and the Chocolate Frog card, uh, Chocolate Frog one, which has got the Chocolate Frog on it as well. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. It's so beautifully done. As I say, every inch of detail has been covered. And again, the painting on it is perfect. Yeah. This, again, is not just a tree ornament to me. This is no. something far more. Right, and our last one from Asda, because don't worry guys, I'm not going to disappoint you with just Asda. Um, we have got some other bits as well. Right. Mm -hmm. It's alright, it's funny. Could you just die? <laughs> Dobby has a sock. Master has given Dobby a sock. And Dobby is a free, free elf. elf. He is. And tell me those toots aren't... I've got lipstick on my finger. Never mind. But tell me those toots, they are so <laughs> Mishka. <laughs> so Mishka had feet like... Feet? She had toots <laughs> like Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know whether it's my age or what, but I mean, even with seven pounds for an ornament, it's quite a lot of money. Um, it isn't. It isn't. I mean, you've got the quality there. As I said, I don't see these these as being purely Christmas. No. Um, but um, you know, I mean, it's one thing paying like one pound fifty or even four pounds, but you know, I mean, when you think. What, that's yeah, you think, you think of the pounds? If you think of the quality difference of the two. Yeah, I mean, well, that's actually a pretty good quality, actually, I must admit. No, but if you just but look yeah, at the three most the quality difference yes, is, di is different, it is. isn't it? I mean, you do, you get what you pay for. I mean, to be perfectly honest, will I collect the other ones? Possibly, but it would be at a much slower rate. <laughs> and, you know, it's... 
it's like there's a polygus one they year, did they? last time and things like that. Yeah. And I would have liked was, to have got that. But apologies was I nemesis. Didn't in time. I know. I forgot to. Well, I didn't forget. It, it was having the funds at the time when the bits were available. Yeah. You can only do so much. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, all in all, uh, this cup, by the way, was actually reduced to three seventy five instead of four pounds something. Hmm. Um, the covered the price of those, covered the price of those, and the price of that, yeah. and the price of that. So again, I I do like George's stuff. I do, I really do. Um. Their customer service, to be fair, they're really, really friendly, but you do not want to be phoning them again and again and again. It's it's stressful and, you know. But, yeah. But, as I say, at least, as well, we got told what the problem was. Mm. Right, so, as I said, Harry Potter is very much the theme for our tree this year. Yep. Uh, so, I've been looking at lights because we've got some... The, teeny tiny battery ones that go around x amount of hundred or something yeah and they're in red blue green and yellow which of course are the four house colors if you yeah you know um so that goes really well but i also wanted something that stood out quite well and this was amazing it, i saw this by chance on studio however on studio, uh, they were actually cheap as I could find them brand new, which was £10 a box. Now, considering I knew I'd need two lots or at least two different types or something, um, I was lucky enough to come across somebody selling them on eBay. They'd used them once, they were still in the box, but they also obviously at the time thought we need two lots of them. So they sold both lots at the same time. I think I ended up paying just over £10 for the two boxes. Um, that's roughly, because mm. I'm trying to remember. But yeah, I know yeah. I know it wasn't very much more. I think it's like 10 25 or 11 25 something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've got two lots of them. We've checked that they work. They work lovely. And you guys will see them properly once they're actually on the tree, yep. obviously. So that's our telling you about the lights. Yep. Now then, the tree topper. Now that was that was something that I'm hoping this will work for. Um, as I said, I've not had a half tree before. We've had to because when my brother very kindly gave us the chairs um, that we've got in here. It did mean that the space was tighter, yeah. basically. And fortunately, they'd not just come out with those Christmas trees where you get three tons of stalk and just the top of the tree, but the actual full frontal bit of the mm. tree, so it goes up tight to the middle <coughs> window or whatever. Yeah. So I'm hoping that this works. Ooh, this is that something... could be a bit big. Yeah, Naked. it could be. But... Um, we'll I try. might be able to watch it. But either way, it's it's a mock sorting hat. It's not the official. It doesn't talk hmm. or anything like that. But yeah. that is a really nice hat. Yeah. And probably fill, fill it up with some t tissue paper or bits like that yeah. and most of it. So it just goes into the top. The top just goes into the very bottom bit of it. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was thinking. Plus, I've got uh, different wire bits and that. Now, originally, this was £10 from uh, Argos. Argos. Uh, I did buy it new from Argos. But they, obviously, after Halloween, they knocked some money off. So, they had, we actually got this for £7.50. And, yep. as I said, we got the half Christmas tree in the end from there, which was £30, which was the same price as the one at George. Yeah. But yeah, and I'm really, actually, I'm really chuffed with that. I mean, you just saw I just got it out of the bag for the first time. And that is a really nice hat. So, yeah, very happy. So, that's our little haul so far. Now, I'm currently doing a uh, video for my crafting Christmas, which is stuff that I've made myself. Um, 
for Christmas. I'm not sure when that's going out yet because obviously I'm not quite sure when you've got the two in December separate. sometime. But the point is that I wanted to show you what was around, what you could do. I mean you can you can do some really quirky bits just off your own back. So hmm. my idea was to show you some ideas I had where you can combine um different bits. Now, if you live in the southeast of England like we do, I strongly suggest that if you are going to buy from George, and you can't be definite about this, however, it's been nearly three years now and I haven't had to pay postage on George because I always select next day delivery. They can never next day deliver, in my experience. Like I said, it's been, it's been over three years mm. and, yeah. Obviously, if you don't want to run the risk, then just pick whatever yeah. other service. But what I will say is I haven't. In my experience, I I choose next day purely because I know. <coughs> so, it's, it's just a little tipsy, a little tip. Yeah. Anyway, guys, all that leaves me to say is be different. Mm. A very merry on the hoo hoo. Although technically this may by now <coughs> be a, a very merry hoo hoo. Mm. Um, for those of you who wonder what the devil I'm going on about, it's it on one Vlogmas of the last year. yeah, it's on one of the Vlogmas ones. It's um, <coughs> regarding a cake that was uh, made up. No, it was Chris. No, it was. It was. It was. Uh, uh, Comedy last yeah, November, wasn't been, it? Yeah, mm. must have been thinking about it. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so essentially. Mm. Yeah, a very merry hoo hoo. And <laughs> oh, that's what I do next, isn't it? Mm. Well, you know, it's really got to be a dobby with mishy toots. Boot!